Hi hey guys, welcome to another Tegan Productions video. I'm Tegan, and today I'll be doing um another Lego video. Um, and today I've got Bane in um Flashpoint Thomas Wayne Batman. Um, and I just want to say tomorrow I will be doing um my review on my Ben Affleck Batman. Um, to make up for not doing a video last week or last weekend. But yeah, so let's just get straight into it. So here we have my Bane, um, and I just want to say first up, he's made out of a thing, big fig, a decal thing, um, the version where his head actually rotates, as you can see there, but yeah, um, so, yeah, I really wanted to make a Bane, um, and I bought an Arkham Origins minifigure, but I really wanted to have a big figure Bane, um, so I ended up buying this, and I have to give credit to Moose Figs because um, he actually inspired me to make this one. It's not a, an original design, um, but or, or at least he's um, the big fig anyway. So he's uh, I haven't done anything with these vein pieces. Oh, that's meant to represent rock. It's all printed. Um, I went over his hands with black. If he falls off. Went over with black um, to do the um, gloves. Um, his legs, I didn't give him shoes, I, they're just showing at the bottom. Um, on this arm, I'll just remove it. I actually replaced these for the blue pieces. Um, I gave him the black glove here, and there's also this other bit that controls the venom tubes. You can see the tubes. I wanted to actually use, like, 3D ones, but I didn't have any elastic bands, so I just stuck with this. Um, but if you want to see me put on elastic bands, let me know in the comments below. Um, there's a button here for him to actually um, control the venom flow. Then on the back, I made his backpack. I wanted to make it green, but I don't know um, what I should use for it, so if you look... Can you let me know in the comments below um, what I should use to actually make a 3D backpack? That'll help me out a lot, and um, I'll give you credit slash shout out if um, you have any ideas. Um, but yeah, so um, I just went over in silver, do the outline of this. Um, this is like, oops. <laughs> Sorry, it's not sticking down properly. Um, I actually um, kind of based this loosely off of the Arkham Origins backpack with the circles there. Except I added my own little tubes going around. And then these tubes are coming in. He also made like one big tube in the middle here. Going over his spine. Which I think looks pretty cool. And yeah, there's not much. I also have his like little vest thing coming around. I might add a belt to him too, so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me make, um, give him a little belt, but yeah, his head was pretty simple, um, I outlined his eyes, and then I also went, um, green, like a lime green in where the white pupil is, and then I outlined the whole thing. Uh, with the white, and then I use white out to go around, um, to make that signature Bane mask shape. I left the mouth showing, so I think Bane looks better with his mouth showing. But yeah, so, that's pretty much it for Bane. Pretty simple, but let me know in the comments below if you want to see me make your 3D tubes, and how to make a 3D backpack, and if, um, you want to see me put a little belt on him. Now, let's move on to Thomas Wayne, Batman. So here we have Flashpoint Batman, aka um, Thomas Wayne. Um, and this was a pretty fun, plus um, challenging, plus frustrating figure to make. Just because of this bat emblem. Because you have to, for this version, he has a little um, red circle. And I kept like smudging up the bat, or the bat wasn't working, wasn't showing up properly. But I finally got it in the end. I think, um, and then this cow, I just want to say, is actually, um, 
an old cow that I actually just um the twenty thirteen um Christian Bale cow, which I cut off, cut down the ears and sanded the ears and cut off the chin strap because this was originally one of my Ben Affleck Batman cows. I'm just removing this. You can see this is actually an official Lego Batman um head. I added the stubble and the red eye lenses and black around his um neck there to make him look more in the suit. Um and yeah. Hang on. Sorry someone was just at the door. Um so yeah I made him look more in the suit by doing black around his neck there. The cape is one of the new um capes which I thought would be good for Thomas Wayne. Um and then as you can see I've put like little um little details to make it look like the cape's flowing down more. Um I just wanna to say too, this is actually based off of the um the Arkham Knight version of the Flashpoint Batman, not the comic slash movie. Um I just wanna quickly say that. Um so as you can see I've done the bat and I've done the line gone straight down. Um you can see I've done his little abs or pecs, whatever you want to call them. And then I did his six pack there. Not abs, chest, I mean. And I did his abs there with the outline of black coming around. Um, I did some more outlines there. And I've got clips coming around since it's more like an army looking version. The back's pretty simple, it's just his shoulder blade and. Just continuation of the clips and whatnot. Um, then you see his red belt. It's got the silver belt buckle with the red pouches going all the way around onto the back. And then he's also got on his legs. Oh, I just want to. Hang on, I'll move these guns off to the side. Um, he's got these straps coming down. Um, to his gun holsters because this variation actually uses guns so he's got his gun holsters then he's got more with the little clip details and the other straps coming around all the way to the back he's got some creases in this suit so I added that in might add, add a couple more up here on his chest I I added um, some metal knee pads there so they're custom and then on the side here He's got his gauntlets and then some more red straps coming around. And got, I didn't know what really went on the arms. So I just added these red straps with the clip there. And I just gave him metal knee uh, elbow pads as well. And the black has the cape um, coming on there as well. And also he is armed with two M1911 pistols. Because um, I don't really know what he uses and I thought these would be good for him. But yeah, um, so that's it for Thomas Wayne Batman. I really hope to use him in animation soon. Um, I've got an idea because while I'm putting him back together, I just want to say I've redesigned my Lego Batman series again. Um, so, um, I can have this Batman in it as well. Um, I'm not going to really say too much, but... Somehow this um, Flashpoint Batman has actually made himself a new the real world, pretty much. But yeah, I'm not going to say any more. And I haven't asked him yet, but I'm going to ask a couple of friends of mine, like some maybe Charles from Dare to Entertain and Adam and Leon and um, some of my friends to help me out with it, with some voicing of the thugs. But let's go ahead and wrap up this video. So. Thank you guys for watching this. Um, I just want to do like a little bit of an update thing for you guys. Um, I just want to apologize for my Man of Steel review um, for being a little bit bland and um, unable to like remember actors' names. Um, I was tired from um, being up late and um, celebrating my sister's birthday, so I had that stuff on, and um, her friends were loud, so I can record anything um but um that's over with and i'll be able to go to earlier times and not upload real late um
But yeah. Um, next, tomorrow, like I said, I'll be doing my Ben Affleck Batman review. I just need to add in the eyes, and I'll just file over the torso and arms and that a little bit more, just to give him more of a, um, weathered effect, since I don't want to add the little details like what Lego had, so I'll just file it a little bit. Um, so, so that'll look a little bit good, and I might even carve a little bit of the, um, emblem, since you look closely at his emblem in the movies, his, um, his bat looks carved. Um, but yeah, um, with the Batman series, like I said, I want to ask a few of my friends to voice for me, so I'm going to ask Charles from Dare to Entertain, hopefully, Adam and Leon, but I still need to get to, um, to actually doing it. Instead of just being like an origin thing, it's pretty much going to start off in action. It's going to be like two or three years in a Batman's career, and Robin's just started. But, yeah. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you check out for next Wednesday for my Arkham City review. And then um, I'll do the update on Thursday. And then it'll be Batman vs. Superman review on Friday. And then I'll probably do my CW review next weekend. But yeah. Thanks, guys. And make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share for more. Bye.